What up, nerds? It's Jason here from Custom Cans, and uh, I'm just super excited at the moment. Like, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, he was very proud of the Mona Lisa, put a lot of work in, but nice result. Uh, Johannes Gutenberg, he, uh, he invented the press. I can't see that being an easy thing to do, but uh, shh, nice work. Isambard Kingdom Brunel, he did a load of bridges and tunnels, and uh, all of them very fine. And my magnum opus is this cable. I have put in so much work into this and uh, so much time and effort and thinking because the things that I wanted to do with this were not being done anywhere else. There was no pattern to follow. I had to design the processes and everything from scratch. So I thought it might be interesting to go through it and also, you know, I spent like six months getting this thing working. Also, uh, we've given away one of these cables along with a pair of Hi-Fi Man's new Sundara closed headphones. So well worth subscribing, we're going to be giving that away to one of our subscribers because we're about to hit 5,000, so it'll be time for a good giveaway. So get subscribed. Get subscribed, you can win a cable which is probably worth more than the headphones. <laughs> and the headphones. <laughs> what? So, uh, yeah, with, with, uh, I thought the first thing to do is just show you how it's made because it's very interesting and it will give you an idea of the kind of hurdles that I had to get over to get to this stage and then we'll go through why I've designed this like this and what advantages this design has over other designs. The Litz goes through a bath of graphene ink which we had to develop which bonds to the, the silk wrapping on our Litz wire and then it goes up through the machine and dry, through a drying process and then it goes through an annealer which is where they heat it up to many hundreds of degrees and cool it back down again so it all kind of bonds together nicely. Uh, that was particularly tricky. Uh, we had to work with a silk company to design these covers because what we wanted to do is get the cores as separated as possible because things like inductance, uh, induction where one cable induces a current in the other which causes cross talk that kind of thing also with capacitance it's all down to the distance between the things the the, the effect drops off with the inverse square law so the further you get it apart it drops off quite quickly so we've separated these out as much as possible so that one wire doesn't induce a current in the other and also you don't build up capacitance we've managed to get the capacitance nearly half of our ultra low capacitance cables these ones which is what we've been selling for many years and these have been super popular because we've got very low capacitance inductance impedance these new ones have about half the impedance because we've used double the amount of copper and they also have half the capacitance because we've managed to get the cores further apart no cross torque completely flat up to like crazy frequencies so you know it's almost certainly overkill for audio purposes but if you've got a very nice pair of headphones, you want a beautifully made thing, there's nothing wrong with some, having something that's just beautiful. And as you can see, these silk covers, oh, they're lovely. They're beautifully made. It's embroidered silk, embroidered in the UK, and it's got little channels inside that keep the wire separated. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And uh, there's nothing wrong with sometimes just having a beautiful thing. Um, plus, also, you've got the crazy high spec, which is over spec for any audio application. There's just, you know, it's completely flat response to over like a thousand kilohertz so yeah it you know it's overkill but it's you know if you've got very expensive headphones and you want some very fancy cables these are going to be it i'm just waiting for some new connectors to arrive so for the four pin xlrs we've got these made which are pure copper and then the all the all the conductors are plated in rhodium but underneath pure copper which is so super low resistance they're really nicely made and they have an extra big hole to fit our cables we're also getting some copper and rhodium 4.4 mil jacks as well again we've had to make them get them specially made because we need such a wide opening for the cable it is fat i'm not going to deny it. it's a fat cable it's you know it's, it's quite light and flexible but it's, it's fat um and these will be available in the graphene coated lits and also the standard lits which is more flexible because we haven't got the extra coating on it these are more flexible i think these feel a bit nicer you know we've We've had to sacrifice a bit of that flexibility to get the graphene coating on there. So if you're not bothered by the graphene, I'd just go for the copper one because it's um, it's going to be a bit cheaper and it's going to be a bit more flexible. But yeah, so let me know what you think. Uh, if you've got any questions, stick them in the thing down below. If you'd like to win one of these, subscribe. And I think next week, I think we're shooting a video for, with the Hi-Fi Man Sundara closed and we'll be giving away a, pair, a set of these cables and the Hi-Fi Man headphones. So that's worth joining us for. Um, and we've got a couple of other cool projects coming up as well. So it, it, it's been super awesome hanging out. Sorry to go on about, you know, and it's a bit of a sales pitch, but it's very exciting. I'm very excited. I've done a lot of work on this and it's, it's probably interesting for some people to see how this dust made. Anyway, love any work.